<laughs> some of them bring their families as well. And, um, but um, I have to tell you, you know, you know they, these monasteries, is there a second monastery today? And uh, seeing these monasteries always reminds me of a little story that I heard not so long ago. Uh, the story of this young fellow who decided he needed some peace and quiet. He needed time for reflection. So he decides to join a monastery. And that's what he does. He joins one of these monasteries with a, with a, a, a way you have to pledge a vow of silence. In this particular monastery, you were allowed to speak two words every year. So he stays the first year, he says absolutely nothing at all, until right at the end of the year he goes to see the abbot in the abbot's office and he says to the abbot, food, bad. <laughs> but he stays another year, says nothing at all, until right at the end of the year he goes to see the abbot and he says, bed, hard. However, these, these um, uh, old farmhouses have been transformed into hotels, guest houses, restaurants, and um, adventure uh, farms, and uh, 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 catering for the tourist industry. Actually, they were originally uh, built entirely of wood. Later on, pieces of steel and of brass were added. In the early 18th century, they started to make the so-called shield clock, which had a flat facade which could be painted in different colors, different patterns. In the middle of the little chapel, it will appear very shortly, around the corner on the right-hand side. You might be interested, interested to see it. Around the corner of the right-hand side, no, little chapel there. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. And um, the farms around here, they were family-owned, and these um, they would be passed down from one generation to the next. The last thing you wanted to do was to lose your farm. You'd lose your existence. And so um, it was so important to be able to pass the, the farm on to the next generation. They'd be passed down to the youngest son, believe it or not. They called this system the Borough English. Um, passed down to the youngest son. And it was of the utmost importance that the youngest son could also produce an heir to which he could then pass on the family farm. And in order to make sure that this system worked, what they did, they built a little dwelling place on the grounds of the farm itself, and they called it the Probeerhusli. Now then, the Probeerhusli, and this is true, by the way, uh, in English, the trying outhouse. And, uh, because you, yeah, have we seen, uh, we haven't seen the local breed of cattle yet? You probably, you've heard of them, surely. They're the ones with the two long legs and the two short legs enabling them to walk around the hills in the black forest without toppling over. <laughs> the wonders of evolution. The only problem, of course, is when they have to go back where they came from. <laughs> but you should see them walking backwards then. <laughs> a sight to behold. There's a red kite up there, just oh, above yeah. us. Unfortunately, the, the bus has a roof. And, um, but look out for the red kites. Um, good. Enough of this frivolity. Um, industry in the black forest, Agriculture was the main industry uh, originally, but later on new industries sprang up 800 years ago, or uh, thereabouts it was, when they first um, discovered uh, the German poet, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, the greatest of the German poets, and then the hotel buildings bears his name today. Look down through the trees on the right hand side and you see a viaduct. Can you see it there? Viaduct, that viaduct, uh, it carries the railway line from Freiburg into the Black Forest. It was actually the first railway line built into the Black Forest. Um, it was completed in 1888. You see a continuation of it ahead of us on the right hand side, and one of the nine tunnels which they had to pour, through, which they had to drill through the hills of the Black Forest to create that railway line. One of the workers at the time did comment that it was very boring work. Um, 1888 it was completed. The viaduct itself, however, it was completed at a later date. It was uh, in 1927. Then you needed a bigger bridge for the bigger engines of the day, and the uh, viaduct was completed in 1927. Destroyed during the war, had to be rebuilt in 1947. Now then, if you look down through the trees on the right hand side, you'll see the buildings of Hofgut Sternen, and beyond those buildings, you might have seen just an old church. 
It's the old church of St. Oswald, the oldest church in the Black Forest. Over 800